welcome back to my reviews and I've got a few items here today from the flea market actually four items from the flea market from the uh, past three weeks or a couple of weeks and a couple of items from uh, earlier in the fall last year This one here is number Y10 in the uh, model of yesteryear line. Picked this up at the flea market, uh, I think last week, week before last. And he had the box with it that was all flattened and the end flaps were ripped off so I repaired it just for display purposes. And I can actually store it in there, so that's a good deal. Pretty decent shape, this one. Still got the thin uh, support here. For the spare wheels. It got a little thicker as time went on. And it's got two supports for the exhausts here. Originally it had four, four small ones. And then they put two, uh, two bigger ones in. A lot of times these, uh, like this, and these, uh, pipes and that would break in the fettling process which was a drum a turning drum where they put the castings in before they were before anything else was done with them to break away bits of metal and stuff that didn't belong flashing and stuff and a lot of the finer parts sometimes broke so they stiffened that up I guess to prevent that there's a little bit of plating on it on the exhaust and on the uh, sprocket and chain and on the spokes the oil pump's got a bit of paint sometimes that isn't painted at all and uh, it's got the radiator trim the cap and the fuel cap This came into the yesteryear series in uh, 1958 and was deleted in 1963 or replaced. It's a nice little model and like I say one of my favorites in the series. Back of the box has a write up and how it won the uh, French Grand Prix in 1908 at Dieppe. Had no front wheel brake drums and was the forerunner of many famous cars to be later known as Mercedes Benz after the amalgamation of Benz and Daimler in 1926. Scale 54 to 1. And the front's got a a line drawing of the car. 49 cent price tag. Nice little model. The next one I've got here is a model of yesteryear. Obviously later.
and it's a 1910 Renault van. They did this in um, this one in quite a few liveries. Well, this is my favorite, is the uh, military version. And the same guy I got the Mercedes off had this one. British Red Cross Society and St. John Ambulance Association on the sides. Unlike the regular vans in this uh, model, this one had windows with blue tinted glass. Quite a nice vehicle actually. That would sit nice with the uh, uh, RAF tender in the SCU series. The wheels, the spokes are in the same color as the body. Quite nice. And you see um, it has the recess for the spare wheel, but it never got a spare wheel, this one. I don't think it would have fit with the way the body comes forward here. Anyways, that's number Y25 in the yesteryear series. And that one's from 19, copyright at 1983 on the uh, base plate. This one was from the same fellow just um, this past week. And it's a Matchbox King Size Foden Tipper. Number K5. I did a review on this, this one some time ago, at least two years ago now, but that one had um, the red plastic hubs, whereas this one's got the metal hubs, which is why I picked it up, because I've, I've never had the metal hub one. There's no box, but it's a, it's a nice model. Of course, this, this truck was before the Matchbox come out with their Hydra sleeve. And with that, you would have been able to position the dumper in anywhere you want. That would have stayed there. Nice lines to the model. And I like that uh, the steering box and the column coming down from the steering wheel. Nice truck, that one. That came, this one came into the uh, I think King Size Series in 1961 and until 1967.
There's another one I picked up at the second hand store in town. And it was five bucks. Well, that's the reason why. It's got no tracks and you gotta... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I fixed the uh, the one to seventy five scale bulldozers. I fixed I fixed that. I've taken this piece apart. Got the tracks on. Might do the same with this. This is a D nine. one came out in 1960 and uh, I guess was gone by 65. It's even missing a bit of the hook, the tow hook here. Be nice to get some tracks on it though. It's K3 in the uh, Hatchbox King Size series. This one here I picked up today at the flea market. And it's a matchbox. It's part of the Adventure 2000 series. Turret turns. Guns move around pretty easily in there. I don't know what's what's going on, but you stick them back back there, and they sit better and they look better. Actually, I've only seen this vehicle once before, and it was pretty ratty condition with broken windows and everything so this one's pretty nice it came out with the adventure series and adventure 2000 series in 1977 and like all of the rest of those and the battle kings they were all uh, discontinued in 1982 Pretty decent shape and those tracks work really well. This one's called the Crusader and it's number K2003. There's a shovel molded on the side there. Sledgehammer. So that was kind of a neat find, something I've never had before. Matchbox Adventure. If you're not familiar with uh, the Adventure 2000, you probably might have seen something like this around. Same coloring. Typical that that doesn't turn. It's supposed to turn when the wheels go. It's like a rollomatic uh, mechanism. This is where your missiles are stored, and then you had one and one sitting pushed against that spring for firing. You could elevate the ramp. So 
that's I just showed you that because I think I've shown you that before just to show you the series that it was from Uh, here's another Matchbox king size model. Actually, two of them tractor and trailer. And it's number K11. The uh, Fordson Super Major. Fordson tractor, Matchbox, king size number 11. Made in England by Lesney. There we go with the wheels. Typical with these. Loose. But pretty decent shape. A little bit of wear on that headlight for some reason. The paint's really good. And it came with this trailer, which is a little more worn than the tractors. I don't think they were originally together. They could have been, but I doubt it. You always see these two together. I don't think the tractor was ever sold um, separately, or the trailer. And this is a... Uh, Whitlock trailer. Whitlock trailer. King size number 11. Made in England by Lesney. I always like the detail on this thing. Little piston setup. It'll hold its position. And I'm not sure if those tires are original, but makes for a nice uh, little set. That's the king size number 11. Fordson Super Major tractor and Whitlock trailer. They had um, Matthew Ferguson in this series, um, International McCormick. Or McCormick International and then they seem to stop I don't know why it would have been a nice series if they kept going a few more tractors and trailers different types and some more implements for these things because I'm not sure I don't think there is any more implements just this trailer in the series and a trailer for the Massey Ferguson So, it would have been nice. Anyways, it's a nice one to have. one I got at the uh, flea market today too. Hatchbox Superfast. Ford Capri. Number 54. That's uh, a nice little car. 
There's the engine compartment, all plated. No opening doors on this one. Trailer hitch. Again, there's quite a few versions of, of this car in the Matchbox series. I like this color. So, number 54, Ford Capri. Matchbox super fast. And last but not least, I got this actually last fall at the flea market. I don't think I did a review on it. See a uh, Dinky Toys Field Marshal tractor. And the original driver in it had no head so I took him out and I put the one of the plastic ones in, which I think looks alright. And this is the original version of this tractor with the green hubs and the metal unpainted metal wheels or tires. I originally was going to restore it, but then I decided against it. Uh, it's got a bit of character to it, this one. This one originally was number 27N in the Dinky Toy series and became number 301 when they changed their uh, numbering system. This would have come out in 1953 originally, copyright for the casting. And then in 54, they started fiddling around with the colors and that. So eventually ended up with rubber rubber tires on front and back and this driver rather than the metal early die cast one but it's a nice toy typical for dinky toys so I'll say this is number 301 uh, field marshal tractor. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.